Well, there's so many events uh, been going on on the Isle of Man all summer long, and it's kind of drawing to the end. But this one, with Karen here to talk about it, is is the one that I really like, the Adventure Race, which um, takes place this Saturday down at Fenella Beach. Yeah, so it's based in the, in the west of the Isle of Man. Uh, it'll it'll kick off with a race start down at Fenella Beach on Saturday morning, uh, and there's going to be quite a big spectacle at 10 o'clock down there as as all the kayaks leave the beach. Both categories with the there's two t- categories in this year, so there's the event and then there's the elite race, and they all go off together at 10 o'clock. We're looking at pictures from last year, which you you kindly supplied. It looks very. Uh you know, power wham bam, but there's, there's, there's a lot there for the spectators to, to see, yeah? There is, yeah, so certainly that taken off will be, will be a spectacle. Now, later on, from about half past two, uh, after they've, they'll have uh, done the swim, they'll have done their kayak, they'll have done the mountain bikes or the forests, they'll get back and they'll be finishing in there with a run back into Fenella Beach from, I would guess, about two half two onwards. Uh, some might be slight bit earlier, there's some fast, boys and girls in there and then from then on also they'll be doing the rope climb up the crane so for the event that's their last discipline. Well I, I filmed that last year and th- this <laughs> it's hard, much harder than even you imagine isn't it? Yeah it's a very very up. difficult it's it's a couple of minutes of, of strenuous work. They've done all this other stuff and they got to do this? Yeah so the elite guys come in there with a mystery challenge so they'll be entering the car park in some manner uh, which we haven't told them yet. A mystery. Uh, they do two of them on their routes, as well as being quite a hard route, but they do every single discipline. So the event category will do, they'll select within a team of four, and each one does two disciplines out of five. So they're, they're different, like a bit like a relay. This event gets bigger every year, doesn't it? Like all these yeah. things. Why, why is it now people want these challenges all the time? Well, this is this is a bit off the cuff and it's quite off the road as well. And I know that appeals to a certain type of person. Uh, and like I said, I, I was asked to, to get involved and, and it was a good idea to set this up some time ago. And now we're seeing it take off. We've got some, some very good UK teams in this year. Uh, and I know that they're testing the ground for for their guys. So that will bring back a, a good chunk of people in it for next year's event as well. Okay, so lots of entries, but I suppose really something for the public to come down and support isn't it? yeah without a shadow of a doubt we had it's it's excellent support down at Fenella there's a, there's a great atmosphere and I know certainly around the rope climb and, and that kind of thing where it really is a spectacle so I would say uh, the kickoff down there is at nine o'clock but certainly the the kayaks being around and, and going off at 10 will be will be impressive and as will the guys coming back in and finishing up from sort of two o'clock onwards you don't get a chance to take part anymore, do you? I mean, you're just an organiser. Unfortunately, no, I can't. I, ha- I have to, uh, to be running around doing stuff, and I'll also be doing a little commentary down there as, as, like, as my role. Well, we're looking at more of your pictures from last year. I mean, t- just to finish with, I mean, you're an outdoor lad, right? I mean, this was a fantastic year, a summer, wasn't it? This was amazing. Yeah, this was certainly, with every year is, is better. It steadily increases. Uh, but this year was, was mind-blowing how busy July got, especially with that, that hot weather. And, and the Department of Tourism, whatever they want to call themselves these days, part of DED, they're, they're focusing more and more on, on, you know, not just coming to bucket and spade holidays, but coming over and doing something. And that's the sort of things that you do. Yeah, a, a large percentage of what we did this summer were UK visitors. And of them, a, a good chunk of them came over and booked us and then thought what else they were going to do on the Island Man. So something is certainly working. And, and I would like to say, yeah, tourism are, are right behind everything. They've been exceptional. And anyone knows like New Zealand, they, they've made such a thing of this. So this is what the Isle of Man could be, isn't it? I mean, we've got all this great scenery and all this water and hills around they us. have, and yeah, you don't have to go so far. So I would say we're on the nail. It's, it's doing what we hoped, and uh, let's keep it going.